whether I'm working or not. Just uh, see what it looks like from this end. Oh, I can see a hand. <laughs> right, I'm coming around to the keyboard. Now, the experiment I did last week, last Sunday, or was it Monday? I can't remember now. I did, I did do an extra special on Monday, I think. But anyway, the thing is, I've now got my um, mobile set up so that I'm looking at the back of my mobile, but uh, with the lens facing me uh, as if it was taking a video. Um, very briefly, I can't see what's going on. Hopefully, it's in the right position and you can see the keyboard. You don't want to see me, do you? <laughs> so anyway, it's uh, Sunday the 21st of July. 2024 and uh, I might be a bit or oh, I don't know about the same time just coming up about half past five no idea what I'm going to be playing I've got something in front of me that says easy to love a fox drop written in 1936 by Cole Porter um, I'm already sitting the keyboard up actually to do a fox drop So there we are. Uh, whew. In the key of G, my... Oh, I hate key of G. There's a peculiarity to G that always seems to want to catch me out. It's that, it's that sharp. Um, F sharp. Uh, but never mind. Let's see if we can do this. So, um, oh, my, my eyesight's not too good again. But there we are. Uh, keeps saying where you are and it keeps wanting not to uh by the way next sunday i may be a bit late i may not do it because i've got an eye appointment at the hospital and they might be doing some more treatment on my eye maybe not i have no idea the last time i went expecting to see a doctor only and they landed up having laser treatment done <laughs> and i wasn't expecting it but there we are oh, i just said it again <sighs> <sighs> I want to also um, have a pound for every time I say there you are. Right, easy to love. Kia G.
that's that one I've just played through. I uh, might give you another one from Cold Porter's next week, maybe. I'm just seem to be running through a Cold Porter album at the moment. Out of the filing cabinet, uh, this is the cabinet which I've got loads of pieces of music, sheet music, uh, been packed in there for many, many years and never looked at. And we're going through it alphabetically. Here's one. This is Because of You, sung by Jimmy Young. And I'll put it up in front of the mobile. Uh, hopefully you can see it. Um, the key of E flat. And Jimmy Young was quite famous in his day um, as a pianist and a very good singer and then he became a radio DJ and an interviewer of many political people interviewed lots of famous people over the years on BBC Radio, Radio 2 um, famous for it now we'd better slow this down a bit uh, E flat and I've tried at 94 beats to the minute. Let's see. Whoa. My sight problem again. Okay, what have we got? Um, the verse. Let's see if we can do the chorus. I might rely on my memory of this.
was one called I couldn't see and it was a tricky one and I uh, can't find it now and it caught me out a bit um yeah I can see it now f7 with a flattened ninth and uh that was the one that caught me out I couldn't quite see that written on the page okay because of you by Arthur Hammerstein and Dudley Wilkinson and written in 19 oh Roman, Roman numerals go work that one out 19 um 1960 um pretty sure that's what it is I'll ask Alexa Alexa what is Roman numerals MCMXL the Roman numeral MCMXL is equal to 1940 oh 1940. That's not supported on this device. Okay, thank you. Alexa, Anytime. stop. Alexa, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, yeah, I was helped on that. Um, 1940. Yeah, XL. Of course it's 40. Because the L is 50. X before it makes it 40. Right. Uh, pop that over there. Now here's a fun one. The Beer Barrel Polka. <coughs> Excuse me. I have a bit of a frog. Um, I've got two copies of this. Uh, one that size. <laughs> one that size. Um, I you can see that. This one is especially been written for piano accordion. Which is what I used to play many, many years ago. Um, written in 1934. Um, and I used to be in a little trio. When when I um, was doing the day job, I, for a time, worked at Bentall's uh, department store in Kingston-upon-Thames in Surrey. And... Um, they, they formed a little trio and I was part of it. Um, I was the accordion player. <laughs> and uh, for also one occasion I, I had to play the drums because the drummer didn't turn up. Um, it, it was a peculiar little trio. Uh, somebody on violin and somebody on guitar and me on piano accordion. Now this very large version it's got a picture of Bertha Wilmot, broadcast and featured by Bertha Mil Wilmot, who I've never heard of. Um, it's, it's someone I probably have to do a bit of research. Um, written by Lou Brown, Vladimir A. Tim and Jaramir Vejvoda, I think. Spelt with V-E-J-V-O-D-A. Well, I think I said it better the first time. <laughs> um, it's pretty simple. Um, I'm not going to play it from the music because I know it quite well from having played it a few times over my lifetime. So, um, starts off quite lightly in the key of C and then runs into key of F when it comes into the roll out the barrel bit. Um, so here we go. Okay.
pull out the barrel from 1934 and onwards. <laughs> uh, quite well known, I, I would think, although like, maybe the youngsters don't know it these days. Things have changed. <laughs> but it used to be quite well known. Right, um, Mario Lanza was quite famous in his day in lots of films. The film called Because You're Mine, introducing Doretta Morrow and James Whitmore. Um, and a tune called Because You're Mine, music by Nicholas Brodsky and lyrics by Sammy Khan. And the date of this one is 1951. And, wow, a lot of sellotape all across this. Look at this. Sellotape all over it. <laughs> Just holding it together in what's now deteriorated sellotape. There it is on the cover. Mario Lanza. Oh, Lanza. Um, uh, right, in the key of... Um, if I can see it behind the sellotape, Mickey of B flat. Um, so much sellotape across this. I hope I can read it through it. Um, somebody's written on it. But they both sing it together. Somebody must have used it for singing. Um, somebody gave it to me, no doubt. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. Uh, oh, got to turn that um, tempo right down from where it was. Can't do it at that speed. Um, where are we? Going too far now. Come on. About 84 beats, I think. Let's give it a try. So this ought not be played in tempo at all. Oops. Just give myself a little check on what flats we're in. start. Oh dear me. Right, let's have a close-up look. B flat 7 with a natural. Right, okay. Um. Figure out how I'm going to play that on the keyboard, which sometimes that's not like funny or different kind of chords of what I expected. What can I do? Major seven, it's come out on my keyboard. Right, all right, we'll try that. doesn't really want tempo. I wonder if I can do it without.
that not underneath the solo tape. slow on the tempo I wonder what would happen end at 66 beats to the minute I did push it up slightly um, difficult to do that one there's uh, so much solo tape all over it and almost invisible to see what's on the page what's coming out of the cabinet next week I wonder we will carry on going through the B's we're up to BE uh, what else is after BE BEC actually um, so we shall see. <clears throat> well, B E E actually be a barrel. No idea. So what are we going to play next? Um, how about a little bit of of uh, Latin, maybe? Uh, let's see what I can find on here. Do a bit of Latin before we go. How about this?
that last one was Ladies of Trump. Uh, played a little medley there. I shall listen back to see what I played it because I can't remember it now. Um, oh, Wave was one of them. Um, played Wave. Uh, I shall have to play it back and find out what I played because I can't remember. Anyway, um, it will all be on YouTube later and if you go on there and do a like and subscribe it would be appreciated. We're gradually going up in numbers of subscribers. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. There are far more people listening to me on YouTube than there are actually the ones that are subscribing, which is strange, but there we are. It does happen that way. I hope you've enjoyed that little session. I've got to go round the back of my mobile and turn it all off. So all I can say is enjoy your weekend, what's left of it now, and uh, have a good week and see you next week. Bye for now. Right, walking round the back. And this is where I say stop. If I can find out where the button is, yes, finish. Bye for now.